Frankie de Jong. Many of you asking me of Frankie, guys, I will release a video explaining the whole situation of Frankie de Jong in the coming days. But let me mention that the negotiation is still there. It's true that the Barcelona president, Juan Laporta, said we want to keep de Jong and he's not for sale. But in his statement, he also said unless it's not necessary because it could happen for Barcelona that they would be forced to sell Frankie de Jong uh, in case he will not accept to reduce his salary. And at the moment, what I'm told is that Frankie loves Barcelona, Frankie wants to continue at Barcelona, so the personal terms are still the big issue of this Young deal, but at the same point, he is not open to uh, renegotiate his contract and to reduce his salary. So at the moment, the situation between Barca and the Young is still to be resolved. It's true that he wants to stay, but he always stated this. It's not new. Frankie would love to continue at Barcelona, but at the same point, Manchester United are negotiating with Barca. They have an agreement in place on the fixed fee, 65 million euros, not yet on the adult structure, 20 million euros, and not yet with Frankie. So it's interesting that what, what... Fabrizio is saying, and by the way, welcome back to the Terrace people. Smash like buttons, leave your comments below. The player, we know his desire would be to stay if possible. But what we also know is that Barcelona are forcing him to move out. There is no other way of dressing this up now. They are forcing him to move out. They are pushing him away, take a massive pay cut, and also default on the 19 million pounds we owe you in deferred wages from the lockdown period until now, and then you can continue. De Jong was point blank at this moment in time refused to do that. Manchester United have been in contact. He's open to joining the club. We're going to delve into it all in a little bit more detail because, of course, Chelsea emerged into this situation yesterday. But it does now turn out more and more mainstream media outlets are now running with the story that De Jong is open to United, wants to join United. Maybe he's even had conversations with Eric Ten Hag. I don't know where we've heard all this before, but it's now coming into the mainstream. Make sure you strap yourselves in. This is going to be a big one, people. Hit that like and share button. Let's go. Today's show is sponsored by Private Internet Access. And this is something I use on my personal computers, work computers, and on my devices. Whenever you're using an open network for internet, whether at a cafe, whether you're at the airport, shopping center, wherever that may be, you need to encrypt yourself and ensure that your personal data is being protected at all times. Private internet access is available all around the world. And as I've mentioned, you can use it on your smartphone, your smart TV, laptops, iMacs, whatever it is that you use. This also gives you the availability to access content worldwide. So when you're traveling, it doesn't matter if you want to use your Netflix, the iPlayer, YouTube, wherever you are in the world, the VPN via private internet access gives you the ability to do so. Now, what the Football Terrace can do for you is give you an 82% discount on this product plus three months three. All you need to do is click on the link in the description or scan the QR code on your screen during this video to sign up now. Of course, we saw yesterday the news emerged that Chelsea have an advantage of Champions League football over Man United in the race for Frankie de Jong. Moreover, the player prefers to live in London rather than in Manchester. Now, the reason I bring the Chelsea news up is this. Chelsea are looking at Frankie de Jong. It's not on at this moment in time. They've made very loose inquiries and there's been no talk yet of them pursuing this deal. But they're there in the background. They're monitoring the situation. They could sweep him. Why is that relevant? Well, we listen to what Fabrizio Romano has already said. Barca are willing to sell. Barca will sell if Frankie de Jong doesn't agree to take a massive wage cut and forego tens of millions of pounds that they owe to him, which he is not willing to do. Now, of course, there is a middle third option that he stays and just gets paid what he's being paid now and gets his money. But very rarely when a big club and a big player have a disagreement like this, one wants to leave or the other to go, you generally get to a resolution by the end of a transfer window. A player does not want to be at a club that doesn't truly want them. They don't want bad blood. They don't want a bad feeling. That is why Man United have remained confident the entirety of this summer. As I've said all along, every single stream about De Jong, I am worried about a big quality top level Champions League team coming in for him. Chelsea are giving me those EBGBers and making me a little bit nervous. 
But the one element of this story that has frustrated me all summer, and I'll stand by it and I've said it the whole time, this idea that De Jong doesn't want Manchester United, this idea that no personal terms have been, they, haven't, they may not have been formally agreed on paper, but there is no way in a million years United have gone this far, this deep, with Ter Eric Ten Hag leading the way on this deal without having a, a large level of confidence that De Jong would want to join. Now, over the course of yesterday, so many stories yesterday evening started to break. Here from a Luis Rojo that Frankie De Jong's idea is to join Manchester United if he indeed leaves Barcelona. This is corroborated by Simon Jones from the Mail that said that Frankie De Jong prefers a move to Manchester United to link up with Eric Ten Hag over a move to Chelsea. Sport in Spain also stated that Frankie De Jong is reluctant to join Chelsea in the case that he leaves Barcelona. His priority would be to join Manchester United. Eric Ten Hag awaits him with open arms. It's also been discussed today from the Mirror, who have said that Eric Ten Hag has also held a number of phone calls with Frankie De Jong. The midfielder was told that he would be the conductor of the orchestra and would be undisputed starter under Eric Ten Hag, a similar role to the one he enjoyed so much in Amsterdam and, of course, in the Dutch team. And the reason I focused on all this is important. Man United haven't completed this deal yet. They haven't even got the add-on agreement in place with Barca, but they've got a base-done deal on the fee. But the reason I focus on this is this. Man United fans have been hoodwinked and fooled and almost bantered to a degree into thinking that they're just chasing their towels here, that they're going to do five, six, seven, eight, nine weeks work on this, get a bit accepted for the player just to say, Eric, what are you doing here? I don't want to be a Man United player. That has never been the case. Frankie de Jong, in my opinion, hasn't changed. I think, yeah, he probably would like to stay at Barcelona. Probably was a dream club for him, but they don't want him anymore. <laughs> We've all been in relationships where the, you know, unrequited love, they call it. This is what it is right now. It's unrequited love. Now, Laporte is saying we want to keep him. You don't want to keep him. If Frankie de Jong was as important as Barcelona were making out, they wouldn't be asking him to reduce his money. They're willing to pay Lewandowski big money. They're willing to pay Rafinha big money. I guarantee you they're willing to pay Bernardo Silva big money. It's a fugazi. The journalists will report what they're told. The journalists are not going to go, right, okay, this is what Laporta te is telling me. This is what a source at Barca is telling me. And I'm going to go and make up my own version. A, a, a verified journalist isn't going to do that. I'm a football fan with a little bit of insight through the brilliant people I work with. And my view is this. Barcelona are saying all the right things. De Jong are saying all the, all the right things. But this comes down to what James Ducker revealed yesterday in England. But four weeks ago, the likes of Gerard Romero, Romero was showing us across socials. This is all about money. Barca need the money because they want to move on to different players. But they're going to talk about how much they love the player to try and force Man United to pay high. If you start publicly saying we don't want the player anymore, you reduce the price. Equally, De Jong is happy to leave, but he wants his money. He wants his money. Barca are going to be forced into giving him this deferred money as an absolute guarantee. There's no get out for them. They have to pay him the £19 million owed. So what are Barca doing? They're trying to ensure that Man United pay more as a guarantee and up front to cover their costs of paying Frankie de Jong because they don't want to spend the money on it. They may now have raised the money, but they don't want to give it to de Jong, which is why there is a fractured relationship. And as being reported now, at this very moment as I'm recording this, there is now a big falling out between Barca and the, the representation of Frankie de Jong. They are disgusted. They are angered by the way they're treating de Jong. De Jong wants to move on. De Jong wants his set up. When I say move on, he wants to move on from this situation. Whether it's staying at Barca and them honoring their contract and honoring him and giving him the opportunity to play and it being a nice environment or agree to sell him so he can move on with his career. That is what they want. But one thing that is complete and utter nonsense is this idea that he doesn't want to and will not play for Manchester United. Absolute fallacy. Absolute fallacy. The second element is that there's been no contact and no element of personal terms being agreed. Now, personal terms is a very vague comment. It could mean money. It could mean squad status. It could mean uh, moving his family over. There's, there's hundreds of elements to personal terms. Have they all, to the nth degree, been fully detailed? No, of course they have not. But what has been discussed is the role he will play, the importance, the money, contract length. All of that is agreeable to Frankie de Jong. They'll go for it with a fine tooth comb once the bid gets accepted. But Man United remain very, very confident. As stated here by the United Muppeteers, very credible individuals here. 
say it's also my understanding that United have had plenty of conversations with Frankie de Jong's representation. It's a good relationship and there aren't expected to be any complications remaining on his side with United when it comes to it. Still believes this happens matter of time. Barca know they need to resolve the contract situation and defer payments to Frankie de Jong and his reps in the coming days. They would prefer United contribute to this, perhaps adjusting the payment terms uh, on the agreed fee as well as give them more cash to make things move along quicker. This, as I have stated for weeks now, and not because I'm in the know, not because I know more than you, but because I've taken the time to read the other stories. This is about money. And when those monetary situations are resolved, it is my belief this deal will go through. Now, there is a sting in the towel. There is a sting in the towel. If Chelsea gets serious, they could change the complexities of this. Chelsea can take this player away from Manchester United without a shadow of a doubt. 110% they can do it. Of course they can. Tuchel is your manager. The brilliant squad they've got. The other quality players they're going to add. They are a hair's breadth from being title challengers. And they can win any of the trophies next year. They're in the Champions League. They have money. Man United, of course, they're leading the race. That's not deniable right now. But as I've stated all along, sort the financials out with Barcelona, the deal gets agreed. De Jong, very open to Manchester United. You can use whatever phrase you want. Personal terms agree. Personal terms, no problem. Personal terms won't be problematic. Personal terms should be easy. I don't care about the phrase. I don't care that rivals want to banter. But Man United fans, get your head out your backsides. There is no way a man with the smarts, the intelligence, the experience, know-how and personal relationship with Frankie de Jong and his agent would allow this deal to go on this long with no confidence, no belief and zero communication over the personal terms of this matter. Yes, that's what journalists are reporting and I respect those journalists. But read beyond what they're telling you. Read between the lines. Laporta, their own goddamn president, has said he ain't for sale. But none of us believe that because we know we're in negotiations. Think beyond the end of your nose. Think beyond the banter. Banter from rivals, keep it coming, by the way. It's part of football. But Man United fans, grow a backbone, grow some thicker skin. Personal terms are agreed. I'm standing by that. They are agreed or will be agreed. I don't care about the semantics. It's going to happen. Frankie de Jong, very close to Manchester United. Bookmark this. Could happen once the teams get the clubs, get the deal. 